Oh, looky here. We've got a pocket. Mm. You're still a pretty new trainer, aren't you? But it's all good. You're a new fellow friend of Pokemon. So let me make a gift of this hidden machine to you. That hidden machine, or HM for short, contains the hidden move Rock Smash. A Pokemon learning Rock Smash can smash small boulders in the field. But the trainer has to have the gym badge from Orberg City. If you don't have that bag, you can't make a Pokemon use the hidden move Rock Smash outside of battle. Gotcha. Y'all hear this? What's the instrument? Please tell me. Tim Buck says it's Zubat. Oh, it's Geodude. I didn't, I didn't, we didn't shake hands. We didn't shake hands, it doesn't count. Uh, this is not the Pokemon I want for this. not gonna help you bud. I would catch this Geo dude, but I think it only evolves completely after you trade it. Or it can only evolve when traded and don't really have anyone to trade with, so it's a no from me. Alright. We trainers will accept challenges anywhere. It's what we do. Okay. You are challenged by Camper Curtis. Yeah, I know someone named Curtis. Camper Curtis sent out Shinx. Ah, the Shinx. Not the best matchup either. For those who don't know, if I'm not mistaken myself, Electric is strong against flying types and... Yeah, Shinx is electric type. Flitter here is flying type, or I don't know if Starlies are. They might just be normal and can learn flying type moves. You can't be missing. Come on, Flitter. Double digits, baby! It's a lot of experience. Hmm, it's efficiently based. Yes. Alright. I figured. To celebrate my getting through this cave, I'm going to battle you. Well, I mean, I've never met someone who wants to get kicked in the shins after scoring the game winning goal, but that's you. Um, is flying strong against grass? I can't remember right now, but we're about to find out. Yeah, it is. That was a super effective sound effect, in case you were wondering how I knew, just from seeing the attack. Might send in Psyduck. Uh, let's send out Simba. Simba doesn't have any electric type moves yet, but he can't get any if he doesn't train, you know, get, it, get some action. Hmm. I'm gonna get a Psyduck one day. Just because. You see how it says Psyduck? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you know where I'm going with this. I'm a pretty punny guy. How dare you scratch me? Or scratch Simba. Who oh, I am vicariously living through at this moment.
Yes, that's a level, baby. Hmm, a level and some change. Oh, I guess losing is something to commemorate too. Commemorate is one word for it, I suppose. And we made it on through. Ooh, yeah. Uh, mm, yeah. Okay, yeah. Mm. Mm. Or Bird City, City of Energy. Blue dots are Pokemons, red dots are Poke Centers. What's up, dude? Howdy, trainer. If you don't have a single gym badge, other trainers will look down on you like you're a total noob, right? So, I'll show you where the town's Pokemon gym is. Mm hmm. Doo -doo -doo. And of course, Barry's here. Huh? There's someone there. Barry, my dude. What's good? Huh? Oh, it's you, Sai. You finally got here? You're slow like always. You're so slow. The gym leader's long gone now. He said he had to go, uh, oh yeah, to Orberg Mine. I got my badge already, so it's no big deal to me, but. Uh, gonna send me on a goose chase? Let me get my Pokemon heal real quick first. to get this guy this gym leader of Orberg gym up a hill there's a huge mountain which I was above everything and divides in on the two distinct halves this way you look like Barry's mom everyone's proud of my of the mine they're digging for coal under the sea as we speak it's amazing how they do it I believe it What's up, y'all boys? This thing is cool. I always thought it was cool, even when my first time playing through. Ooh. So, when you're in caves, it's essentially like being in tall grass every step of the way. Everyone that works in the coal mine keeps their own Pokemon with them. You may be challenged to battles. <laughs> I bet so. There were Pokemon that look just like rocks. They sure surprised me. Yeah, like Geodude. Geodude does look like a rock. With arms. Do, 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 do. I think this is gonna be an Onyx. Oh, it's a Geodude. Oh, I have the wrong pro Pokemon at the front for this. Um, I'm gonna switch. I said I'm gonna switch. At least Flitter got some experience from this though. So I'm pretty sure all these dudes will challenge me if I talk to them. So to get some training in, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to them. Uh, will I fast forward through these? Nah. I'll let you guys enjoy it with me. They become my most trusted partners. Oops. But yeah, things like this. I'm saying. Do you? Would you guys prefer if I just skip through? Cause I'm a man, I'm a guy of the people, you know? So I'd like to know if you guys would prefer if I were to speed through the battles, but like, cause you know, there's gonna be a lot of wild encounters. If you would prefer me to speed through the battles, whether I run away or beat them regardless, like speed through the battles and then go back to like regular pace as I'm walking down trails, or would you prefer me to speed through trails entirely like I did before? on the previous route to get to the cave that leads to Horberg City. Just let me know. In the comments. Cause I feel like it's a toss-up. 
and I'm not sure how much you guys are trying to watch. I don't know if you're watching for just for the story, if you want every single battle, every single line of dialogue, or just, you know, key points. So please let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know another interesting story or something that you remember, because I'm sure you remember plenty. For those of you who have played this game before, I'm sure you remember a lot about this game. <laughs> But yeah, we got a battle now. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I snuck my Pokemon to work. Okay, this is a time where it's actually good for me to have Flitter at the forefront because flying is strong against fighting type, which is what my chop is. Dang, so close to leveling up. Alright. But yeah, please let me know. If you want me to fast forward through battles, or fast forward through entire routes. If you want me to fast forward through wild encounters, but not through trainer ones. Because I want you guys to be, you know, comfortable with whatever I'm posting and be able to be engaged throughout. Okay, we need to switch Flitter out. And yeah, I'd like to hear you guys' stories. Why you chose each Pokemon you chose as far as like your starter, from Chimchar to Piplup to Turtwig. Did you already know what they were gonna look like when they were fully evolved? Did you just like the way they looked before? Do you always pick a certain type of starter when you play these games? Let me know. I feel like Pokemon Diamond and Pearl and Platinum were all like really major for people. The introductory game into the franchise of Pokemon. So I feel like this was something that I'm not just alone in as far as enjoy enjoyment. I mean it's Pokemon, plenty of people have played, but I feel like a lot of people, it was their first game or one that they remember extremely very fondly. Excuse my repentance. I'm halfway distracted by this battle because it's not going the way I thought it was gonna go. Onyx is strong. All right, I gotta catch it. Gotta catch it. Ooh, please. Okay, this is a gambit, but I have to use this Pokeball to catch this Onyx. If he breaks free and attacks Embryana, She's gonna faint, and I just don't think I can handle that. Oh no! Freak! Please don't. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can't switch out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that was close. I'm not doing a Nuzlocke or anything, but... Oh my gosh. That was lethal. That was insane. What are the odds? I thought, I thought that was a wrap. I thought that was a wrap. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna use one of my potions. I don't use... I almost never use potions when I play these games. But... Gotta look out for my girl. Uh, Onyx is suck. <laughs> I'm not gonna use this one too, though. I don't think I'm gonna need it. God, these are a bunch of rock types. And, like, everything that Flitter does is gonna be not very effective. So, in actuality, my best bet is to use Embryana again.
up. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move, Rock Smash, a boulder blocking away. Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. If you could get the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. You made me walk all the way down here to tell me that I need to beat you? I already knew that. Can I battle you? Yes. I'm gonna battle this dude on his break. Speaking of breaks, I'm, a break. I'm about to break your spirit. Because I'm gonna beat you that bad. Yeah, that's right. I'm clever. I really wish that wasn't a Geo dude. Ugh. I'm gonna switch. As much as I hate to. Electric types right now, for bro. All right, who's in the next Onyx? I'm gonna keep Embryana out here. It's gonna be tough. But yeah. Gemstar was like the first Pokemon I ever saw. Outside of Pikachu, of course. Which is what made me so partial. Like, I saw someone else playing the game, and it was like... I think they actually chose Turtwig in Pokemon Diamond. So the first Pokemon I saw, you know, the face of... was actually Chimchar. So when I saw Chimchar in the fire, like, come on, fire? That's dope. Fire is dope in general. But it was just a double whammy because it was the first one I seen and then the fire. I was like, oh, that's cool. So that's what made me to choose Chimchar to start with. What's this? An escape rope. These can help you get out of a cave very quickly, which I'm probably going to use. Either that or I'll speed out of here, you know. Or maybe cut. Probably cut to when I get that. Catch this Zubat. You'll see a lot of Zubats, Zubats in the caves of Sinnoh. Let's see. Uh, I'm not gonna use Wing Attack, I'm gonna use Quick Attack. Let's see if that would happen. How that goes. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm going, to, going for a Pokeball. And then, hopefully, that will turn out well for me. Let's get caught. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Even though it has no eyes, it can sense obstacles using ultrasonic waves it emits from its mouth. Give a nickname to the caught Zubat? Yes, we are going to name you... Fanga. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and make our way back. If anything significant happens, you guys will know, but we'll probably just end up back at the gym. Okay, I kinda forgot to put the lid put a lid on the on the on the cutting, so I kinda cut all the way over here. Sorry about that. I know what you're thinking. Sorry, aren't you editing this after you record it? What do you mean? I just listen, I ended up here, okay? We're inside the gym. I'm gonna give you guys a good look after this battle though, of what it looks like. Yeah, 
Yep, forget a move. You can get rid of Growl. Night night, Jonathan. Now I understand why you decided to battle with me. Alright, so, this is the gym. Oh there. How's it going, champ to be? That's what I said to a really impatient boy earlier, too. The gym leader is a user of rock-type Pokemon. Well, listen, rock-type Pokemon really hate water, alright? They're also weak to grass-type moves. <laughs> Gee, they sure have weaknesses. But don't think it will be easy. You don't get to be a gym leader without recovering from weaknesses. Going after a rock-type Pokemon with a fire-type Pokemon won't be easy either. That's all the advice I can give. Thanks for listening. And this is why it can be kind of rough to have Chimchar is your first choice. But this is what it looks like on the outside. If you guys remember, Barry's stupid face is no longer there. So that's good. But I'm going to go ahead and rearrange the order of my Pokemon. I really want to be able to train Simba. Mmm, sure. I'll put Simba at the front. 